I'm going to read Pinocchio and his puppet show adventure. There was once a kind old man named Gepetto. He lived in a little house with his goldfish, Cleo, and his cat, Cigarro. Another friend, Jiminy Cricket, lived in the house too. Gepetto could make wonderful things out of wood. One day, he made a puppet that looked just like a boy. He called the puppet Pinocchio. How I wish Pinocchio was a real boy, he said. It will be fun to have a son. A good fairy heard Gepetto's wish. That night, she came to his house when everyone was sleeping. She touched Pinocchio with her wand. Suddenly, the little wooden puppet came to life. And what did Pinocchio do first? He tried to take Cleo out of the goldfish bowl. No, no, Pinocchio, cried Jiminy Cricket. Put that fish right back. The noise woke up Gepetto. He could not believe his eyes. There was his wooden puppet singing and dancing. The old man was so happy he hugged Pinocchio. My son, he said, my own little wooden son. Gepetto wanted to cook breakfast for Pinocchio, but there was nothing to eat. Let me go out and buy some food, father, said Pinocchio. My, my, what a good boy you are, said Gepetto. The old man gave Pinocchio some money and a list of things to buy. Jiminy Cricket was not so sure that Pinocchio was a good boy. I will just follow him and see, he said to himself. Pinocchio walked happily down the street. He smiled at everybody. Everybody smiled at him. It was fun to be out in the big world by himself. A boy named Lamwick was also out by himself. Lamwick was not a good boy. He told stories that were not true. He even stole things. When Lamwick saw Pinocchio, he said, Aha! I bet I can trick that wooden head. Hi, friend, said Lamwick. What do you have there? Money, said Pinocchio. I am going to buy food. Why not buy candy, said Lamwick. It tastes better. No, no, Pinocchio, don't listen, called Jiminy Cricket. Pinocchio paid no attention. He followed Lamwick to the candy store. Where did you get so much money? asked the lady in the candy store. My father gave it to me, said Pinocchio. To buy candy? asked the lady. Yes, to buy candy. This was not true. Suddenly, Pinocchio's nose started to grow longer. He took his candy out of the store as fast as he could. Let me hold the bag, said Lamwick. It will be safer with me. I'm bigger. Pinocchio held out the bag of candy. To his surprise, Lamwick grabbed it and ran away. That was the end of the candy. What happened? asked Jiminy. Where is all your father's money? I lost it, said Pinocchio. Right away, his nose grew still longer. You did not lose the money, said Jiminy. You use it for candy. Well, at least take what is left and buy a little food for Gepetto. As he walked toward home, Pinocchio held the bag of food in front of his face. 
he did not want anyone to see his long nose. A sly old fox and a thin, hungry cat were hiding by a bridge. Look at that little wooden head, said the hungry cat. He has a sack of food. Hello, my fine lad, said the fox. You look like just the sort of boy who might want to see a puppet show. A puppet show? cried Pinocchio. Oh, yes, I certainly would. How can I get in? I have a ticket, said the fox. If you give us your food, I will give you my ticket. That is your sack of food, isn't it? Oh, yes, said Pinocchio. Another lie. His nose grew longer yet, but he didn't care. He had his ticket. A line of people was waiting to get into the puppet show. They got mad at Pinocchio when he bumped them with his long nose. Better not tell any more lies, said Jiminy Cricket. You already have too much nose for a puppet your size. Step up, step up, called the man waiting at the ticket stand. Pinocchio stepped up. He gave the man his ticket. This is no ticket, said the man. It's just a piece of paper. Go away, little boy, and take your long nose with you. Poor Pinocchio. He had no money, no food, no ticket. He sat down on a box and began to cry. Just then, a man peeked out of the tent. The man was Stromboli, the puppet master. My, my, said Stromboli, a puppet without us any strings. Can you do anything but cry, little puppet? I can dance and sing, said Pinocchio. Show me, said Stromboli. Pinocchio danced, he sang, he turned cartwheels, he even stood on his head. Then Stromboli showed his puppets to Pinocchio. He pulled their strings and the puppets kicked their feet. You don't need any strings, said Stromboli. Come with us. You will be the star of the sh of our show. Don't listen, Pinocchio. Go home to Geppetto, said Jimini. But Pinocchio did not want to go home. He wanted to be a star. The show started and Pinocchio began to dance. Look, no strings, he called. Everybody cheered. But the other puppets had strings. Pinocchio's long nose got caught in those strings. He crashed to the floor. Everybody started to laugh. Suddenly, Pinocchio was very unhappy. He did not like to have people laugh at him. I am not such a great star after all, he said. I want to go home to Gepetto. Oh no, you are not going home, said Stromboli. You belong to me now. This birdcage will be your home, my little long-nosed friend. Help, called Pinocchio from inside the cage. Let me out. But the puppets could not help. They could not move unless someone pulled their weight strings. Jimini could not help either. He was too small but he could get help. Jimini ran quickly to Geppetto's house. Geppetto, he called, you must come save Pinocchio. Stromboli, the puppet master, has put him in a cage. My poor little Pinocchio in a cage, said Pinocchio. The old man followed Jimini down the dark street. 
he was carrying a lantern in one hand. They found Pinocchio in his cage in a stromboli's tent. Don't worry, my son, said Geppetto. I will help you. He opened the cage and lifted Pinocchio out. Suddenly, Stromboli came running. Thief, he cried. That is my puppet. Run, Pinocchio, shouted Geppetto. Pinocchio ran. Geppetto ran too. But the old man did not see the open trunk. He fell into it. Aha! Now I have you, shouted Stromboli in a terrible voice. I will save you, father, called Pinocchio. Quickly he went up a ladder to the place where the puppets were hanging. Pinocchio dropped the puppet's strings and all onto a Stromboli. The puppet master could not move. Geppetto was safe. My good brave Pinocchio, said Geppetto, and he hugged his little son. Fast as they could, Geppetto, Pinocchio, and Gipini ran off toward home. As soon as they were safe at home, Geppetto took a good look at Pinocchio. What has happened to your nose? he cried. Tell him the truth now, said Gimini. This time Pinocchio did tell the truth. He told Geppetto about everything just as it had happened. While he talked, his nose got shorter and shorter. Finally, it was just the way Geppetto had made it. Never again, Pinocchio decided, would he tell another lie. Thanks for watching.